Yo, what is good, y'all? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. Before we go any further, if you are new to the channel and have not yet, please smash the subscribe button as we're on the road to 35,000 subscribers. Guys, huge shout out to my guy Brandon for letting me hop on his account to do a Diamond Draymond Green gameplay. And trust me, I think this Draymond Green card is going to be absolutely elite at that power forward position. Draymond, 6'7", 230 pounds, with a shoe, an 89 three-pointer. Absolutely crazy. I don't know why Draymond got an 89 three-pointer. 75 driving dunk, 77 ball handle. Defensively, 96 interior defense with a 76 perimeter defense. Great rebounder, upper 80 or middle 80 stats there. 81 speed with the coach and or with the shoe with an 81 lateral quickness. Absolutely elite stat-wise. Let's see what his steal tendency is. He does have a 68 on ball steal tendency, which is pretty mid, but it's not terrible. Five Hall of Fame badges, Dimer defensive leader, intimidator, post move lockdown, and Tyler's defender. There's some elite defense. If there's some elite Hall of Fame badges, Draymond has them. 20 gold badges, pick and popper, break starter, rim protector, pick dodger, clamps, hard crusher, interceptor, lightning reflexes, moving truck, off ball pass, rebound chaser, worm downhill, needle thudder, tight handles, clutch shooter, hot start, pump fake, maestro, floater. He's got incredible gold badges. Silver badge including catchy shoot put back boss, flashy passer, lob city passer, chase that artist, artist, pogo stick giant slayer, green machine, as well as three bronze badges. Just for the, just for me wondering, I, I don't know if you can apply range extender on a card like this. I'm gonna click on it and see. I guess he doesn't even have a range extender. I don't know if Draymond can get range extender or not. If you want to put him on it or not, I don't know if he has corner specialist either. Those are two bad, especially corner specialist is the type of badge I would look to apply on this Draymond green card. But he comes with a ton of badges, guys. Let's hop into shoot around to see how Draymond is. Hopping in here to the Draymond Green shoot around. The thing is, obviously, he's not going to move well. It just looks gross. Let me turn off the shot meter, but the movement just looks gross from Draymond Green. There's no doubt about it. It just looks disgusting, but I feel like his release is going to be absolute butter. Now, obviously, I got to get used to it because he shoots with a backpack on, but it's going to take some getting used to, but I think it's going to be lights out. He has hot spots, as you guys can see from the top of the key. I don't know why he has hot spots you know, everywhere around the arc. Don't ask me why he has an upper 80s three ball either. But what matters is if he can knock down shots consistently, that's what matters because he's going to be able to play defense lights out. He really will. As long as he can keep his feet behind the three point line, he's going to knock down pretty consistent jump shots from behind the arc. I have a good feeling about Draymond Green knocking down a, a lot of his jump shots from deep. Can shoot corner threes now. One thing I will say is if you can put corner specialist on him, it will help him greatly. Not that he needs it, though. He's going to be knocked down. And you know what? I'm a, If I have one free badge spot and if you can apply range center, that's probably the badge I would apply for this Draymond Green card because his release is absolutely knocked down. Straight butter from Draymond. Do I think he's worth locking in? Let's find out. Hopping into a game where up against Towns 43, he's got a decent squad, but I hate to break it to him. His squad doesn't compare to my squad with Draymond Green. I'm so, so excited to use Dre because I did like Draymond last year. And I really do believe I'm going to like him this year as well. I'm very, very excited to use Draymond. Like, I know I've said it already, but I'm super excited just because of him on defense more than anything. I don't know. I, I didn't really look at all his badges. I hope he has like the interceptor badge and all those. I'm guessing he doesn't have all the badges he needs, but... I know he has Intimidator and some other key badges as well as Hall of Fame Dimer over to Paul George for the first knockdown three of the game. I will say Draymond has decent enough playmaking. Now he's not gonna be he's not gonna be super incredible like dribbling wise, but if you just have to run and then make a quick decision over to Manu, it's gonna be almost lights out every single time with that Hall of Fame Dimer that Draymond has. No doubt about it, he is incredible. That's knockdown every single time. I sold the release slightly early. I see it. I saw it, Draymond. And we get a quit in the very first quarter of the game. We got a quit, and it wasn't even two minutes into the game. So I need to hop into another game to see if Draymond is really the man with the plan. Hopping into another unlimited game. We're up against KNG Patch. Now, he's got a decent enough team. Has Nash, Manu, PG, KD, and KP. But he does not have Draymond Green. Draymond just gives me a good vibe. And he can get range extender. Mine doesn't have it, I don't think. But he can get range extender. So that's definitely a plus for Draymond. If you're really looking at it, applying Draymond's badges, he's going to be knocked. Look, his release is just so pure. I don't know, man. And I don't want to sit here and tell you guys to lock in Dre. But whew, he's looking good right now. That's good defense. Okay, I see him. He's playing good defense right now. Come on, Dre. 
Hmm, good help, Sai. That's that's good help by KP right there. We're good. That's an absolute missile. Zoom! That's a missile. Over to Chris Stapps for a green light. I'm really contemplating putting Steve Nash on the ball for a little bit. Good. Or not Steve Nash. Draymond is who I meant to say. Hall of Fame Intimidator. What are you going to do with it? Look at Draymond on the defensive end making things happen. You love to see it from Draymond Green. And I, I like the, the, the vibes this Steve Nash is giving me. Woo! And back to Steve. That's got to be green. It's not green. That's Hall of Fame Dimer, though. All right, Draymond. I've tried making plays with so many other people except for you. Let's get Draymond involved here. Out to Chris Stapps. That's way too deep. I don't understand. Why are you going so deep? Try it. Go get it to Draymond. Draymond with the closeout. Right, we'll just knock that midi down. Knock the midi down. Draymond Green has four points in the game. I need Draymond to make a bigger impact here in the second quarter. In my opinion, the one of the biggest troubles that Draymond gives you is he's a great interior defender but it's hard to really maximize his effect on the court that's good defense hard to maximize or really show his effectiveness on the court in a gameplay type setting like Draymond's good but unless you give him range extender he's not going to be the type of guy to blow you away in a gameplay in my opinion KP from three I need it I, I don't know why I'm not greening right now but that's a big shot from Chris Stapps right there I just threw my hands. I can only go get it to Draymond in the fast break situation. Stop. I needed it, Draymond. That's a good shot. Stopping on the break. Just couldn't get it to go. Draymond knocked down for a three. Yes, sir. Draymond Green in transit. Kind of a transition type setting off of a made shot. Gets a three ball to go. Good, Steve Nash. Mm -hmm. This game, the tempo of this game is picking up and I'm all for it. I'm all for it, man. Draymond, that's a dot. Another My one. My fault, Dre. I got to start greening with you, but gets back-to-back -back triples to go. I love it all. I love it all. The way this game is sped up, I love it. Mm, that's a tough closeout right there. Wow. Get it up to Draymond. That's an easy bucket for Dre. Leaking out in transition. Draymond green, and it's absolutely killing me. And one. Look at Draymond. And one. That's fine. That's all right. Overcommitted to Draymond Green. Opens up our easy rebound for KP. Good, Dre. The thing is, I literally can trust Draymond to defend by himself. That's the thing I love about Draymond. Compared to every other defensive player in the game, Draymond, can you can just put him on an island and he's going to be able to defend by himself. Not a lot of people can do that to as high a level as Draymond. Yo, this Chris Stapps on defense is tough. This Chris Stapps defensively, man, he just flies around the court. That's a dot. It's knocked down every single time. Right there, he shot a long two. But the thing is, he's going to be knocked down. You're going to be able to trust his release because it is so easy to time. It was last year, and it's the same thing this year. You got nowhere to go right now. Do not give him a bailout. Do not give him a... Thank you, Weber. Heading into halftime, we are down four points. Looking at the halftime stat line, Draymond has 16 one assist, and really that's all he's done. But he has been absolutely knocked down so far. Look for a big second half from Draymond Green. Yeah, Draymond, take him inside. He a baby in there. Draymond going to the line for two shots. And the thing is, Draymond's best stat on offense, and which I like, is his three-point rating. That's an A-plus compared to everything else he does for you. I missed the first free throw. Probably should be using a meter, but it is what it is. Kobe wide open. I'll Kobe. take it every single time. Kobe gets the mid-range to go on that Hall of Fame Dimer assist from Draymond Green. Jumps at me. It's over with. The way people have to guard Draymond on the three-point line is hilarious to me. He's got absolutely nowhere to go. Time for him to send somebody on a back cut. That's defense by Draymond. Look at the rotations. Draymond over to Kuzi. Uh, patience. 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 Yeah. 
It's Draymond's world, and we are all just living in it. I hate to tell y'all, man, if Draymond's going to be hitting that shot, this guy I'm playing's in for a long night. I'm going to start boxing everything he's doing, and he's in for a very long night. Good, Dre. Good, Dre. That's a tough shot. He might make it, but that's a tough shot. Get it to Dre. Open court, Dre. Open court, Dre. Over to Koozie. I need it. And I got it. Hall of Fame diver from Draymond, and he is taking over this game right now on both ends of the court. That's good defense. Oh, my gosh. He's just running right now. You got to pay so much attention to Dre in the pick and pop. Opens up a wide open bucket for Bob Cousy. And that's one thing you can't overlook is if Draymond gets range, you're going to have to guard him from that deep. You really will. Good, Cousy. I need it. That's a stop. Get it to Dre. Uh oh, Dre in the open court. Dre in the open court. Spin. That's a Kuzi. I need it and I got it, maybe. Kuzi gets another three ball to go and we are moving right now in this game. Woo! Over to C Webb. You cannot leave Chris Webber wide open off a Hall of Fame dimer. That is defense right there. Up to Dre. Dre, man. Oh, he got swatted. Back out to him. Midi, Draymond gets it to go, and we have really extended the lead here to seven behind Draymond's Green, Draymond Green's incredible third quarter performance. You got to give more attention to Draymond Green. You have to. He has sharp. T Look at Draymond, man. That's my steal. We're good. Nine seconds. Sit back. Oh my gosh, that was mine. That's defense. All I can do on defense. We're gonna add it to the fourth quarter with a four, with a six-point lead. Can Weber hit a shot for me, please, Weber? I need one, Chris Weber. That's all I need. I know you got a good enough three. Look at Draymond on defense. When I need a big-time play, Draymond Green gets it done. Gets the poke away and cashes it in on the other end. Get it to Draymond. Draymond to the cup. Draymond Green, one-handed jam. Just when the momentum feels like it's shifting and I'm losing all I'm losing all of it, right? Then Draymond Green shows up. He is really making an impact. Mm, no way. Good Draymond with the board. Up to C Web. Just step in for a nice little mid-range jumper. If I had range extender, I'd have let the first one fly. I promise you I would have. He is still in this zone. Not a very smart idea. Because I haven't made a shot yet with Weber. But I'm, I'm due for one. Out to Draymond. No hesitation with Dre. Can't get the mid-range jumper to go. That's a good shot, though, nonetheless, for Draymond. Let's make Draymond the main playmaker out of this zone offense. That's what I feel like I need to do that I haven't been doing. Draymond Green does that. This guy's offense is very weird. And I'm not judging him, but it's, it's a very weird offense that he's running. Somebody better start guarding Draymond Green. The back cuts that I'm seeing everybody run against me is just so tough, but there's nothing I can do. I can't change my defensive settings. I have to run it. See Webb, I need one shot. There we go. Chris Webber finally gets it to go, and Draymond Green has takeover once again. I feel like the way I have to play defense is like this, but it's just tough. There is no way unless you have applied range extended to him. Get it to Draymond in the open court. Up to C Web. It's showtime. C Web and one. The defense in this game is literally non existent. Board. Draymond cleaning the glass. Oh, yeah. Get right around KP. You can reach all you want. Just send Draymond to the free throw line. Hopefully, he can cash in on his 40th point of the game right here. Oh, yeah. He's conceded. It's over with. Big time win. All behind Draymond Green's 40 point performance he was absolutely elite in this game i mean really really efficient defensively i couldn't figure out anything on either you know with anybody let alone draymond green but just look at that possession right there for example absolutely elite on the defensive end look at the final box score for dre he ended with 40 points two rebounds seven assists two steals 16 to 24 from the field and five of seven from deep was absolutely my best player on the court in this gameplay Oreo, that is going to wrap it up for Diamond Draymond Green gameplay. And I do believe he is the best power forward in NBA 2K21. But I do not believe he is worth locking in. 
I don't think in two weeks he will be worth locking in, and I don't think he will be a top two power forward in two weeks. Now, that's my personal opinion. I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys if you lock in Draymond, it will be a bad decision, but I personally will not do it. Nonetheless, Draymond Green is very, very solid in NBA 2K21. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new, and as always, man, I love y'all, and have a blessed day.